Hello, I'm Andrea from the Creative Dream Incubator, and this is day one of a 30-day creative journal challenge. This challenge is, um, I've challenged myself to creative journal every day for the next 30 days. That's no biggie, because I already do that every day anyway. The real challenge is that I'm going to be sharing what I'm doing in my creative journals with you every day for the next 30 days. So I'm going to make a video every day sharing you know, what's up in my journals, talking about what I've learned. I'm excited, this is exciting. I'm gonna be sharing what I'm up to. Yay, let's just start. So, this morning, um, in the mornings I have this uh, sort of plain moleskin. I keep it by my miracle pod, um, right over there. I don't... Do, 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 do. You can kind of see it, that pink thing. There's um, little tables of art supplies and stuff that I leave there and I, uh, there's cushions, there's like also a big beanbag chair, so I, I can make myself very comfortable there. Um, I have crystals, I have essential oils, this is where I go in the morning, and um, I just draw stuff, and like I don't do a lot of like writing and journaling at that time. This, this is where I've been drawing the mandalas that I've been sharing, so today's mandala. Do, 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 do. It's just like, oh my god, stop being stressed out about things, just cheer up, so that was kind of funny. Um, these have been really good, even when like a lot of them, like it's the first one, have no messages or anything in them. They're just like, uh, it's a really nice way to just kind of play with creativity and gently come into my day. I usually sit and meditate for a while too. So meditate, draw, color. <sighs> a nice, a nice way to start the day, feeling more connected to myself. So I really love this journal for that. And then this journal, the, the new one I was sharing yesterday, is where I'm working out um, the process of, um, well, this is where I work out the process of whatever it is I'm creating for my work. So right now that is the Creative Dream Journals. Um, do -do -do, so we're on. So I came to the journal and I was feeling like, This part that I'm at, this point that I'm at in the process is really the hardest part for me to be present with. That part where that seed is germinating, um, I talk about this with my clients all the time too, it's, it's hard for everyone because that seed germinating isn't an easy thing and you're not at a point where the dream is something real that you can work with, it's still this energy thing and it's like you have to shift and change what's happening inside of you to create space for this dream to start to come to life and it's just awkward beyond all means. So I did a little drawing to show there's the idea or the dream and then it has to break through all of this kind of bullshit, right? Your, um, your fears and your doubts and just like old stuff that you need to clear out of the way in order to step into this, this new dream because every dream is an aspect of your purpose, of your authenticity, of your spirit. And so it's always calling you along your own personal evolution and growth so each dream is like pushing you forward so you have to let go of more of that stuff that isn't really true to who you are which isn't it's beautiful but it's not easy right so that's, what, that's how I was feeling and I wrote that out and then I decided wow if a client came to me with this and they do <laughs> when they do I never see it as oh you're stuck. Yeah, you're just going to have to be stuck there for a while. I've never ever said that. And yet I feel that when it comes to me. That's kind of my first response. This is why the journal helps me so much because writing it out it kind of jolts me out of that space. And I do a coaching session with myself in the journal. So that's when I'm like, oh, really? It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. I have a lot of uh, sympathy and compassion for that. But also like, maybe we can make this fun. Like, maybe your dream is awesome. Maybe it's awesome that you're at this place and maybe we can remember to approach this with more, more lightness and joy. And then that felt right. And then I moved into, it got more creative and playful because I started to journal about the essence of what I want to do. And that's always the most powerful um, place to be coming from being connected to the essence of it. So as I, I did that, I got to the, um, the typewriter and I gave it wings and was like, yes, yes, let's do this. So 
that's what's happening today, just kind of shifting my feelings, giving myself a little space. Also, because yesterday we had the holy day, which is like the, it's a big, it's a big event for me in terms of there's a lot of energy healing and transformation that I'm like holding space for. So the day after I usually need to mostly take it easy and re recuperate and refuel. So that's what I'm doing today. And who knows what I'll do tomorrow. I will be back to share that tomorrow. Hope you have a great day.